Hey guys, so I got a request from a really good friend of mine, Amy, over at As The Bunny Hops. So check her out if you haven't already. She's amazing. Uh, but she asked me to react to a trailer for the boy band con. This is all about Lou Pearlman. Uh, you may not know this about me, but I was a little bit of a teeny bopper. A little bit. I was obsessed. Maybe still a little with NSYNC. I mean, I followed them around the country. I was like 17 and I was going to see them in all these different states. I went to Vegas to see them. It was, it was a thing. It was a thing. I wanted my first tattoo to be a little NSYNC star on my hip. My dad was like, no, mm -mm. I ended up getting a uh, butterfly on my back and I have a flower on my back. And now I have Rogue and Gambit on my back. Clearly I have this. I have lots of tattoos. Still haven't gotten that NSYNC star, although I might, I might do it. Um, yeah, so I love NSYNC. Okay. I liked the Backstreet Boys as well. I was a fan, 98 Degrees, all those boy bands. And I know Lou Perman was a bit of a turd. So I'm interested to see this. I know it came out about a week ago, but why not? Let's react to it. Let's see. Let's see what it's all about. All right. You guys ready? I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com. Don't ever forget this is show business. Always remember that while you're doing your show, your business can be walking out the back door. He's my favorite back to well, the boy band craze to me was this amazing time in history that changed everything. <laughs> we start selling out stadiums, start selling out arenas. You see a girl pass out in front of you and you're supposed to just keep performing. People were selling a million records a week like nobody had ever seen sales like this before. And what a lot of people don't understand, the man responsible for this was a new comment. Yeah, I know, I know, and he's a... Casario behind Backstreet Boys and Instinct. Lou was head of our family. We would have dinners, we would tell him everything. This guy is the guy pioneering music on the radio. Things were going great. Oh my God, this is so going to be our first check presentation. A lot of money now, this is going to be nuts. I open up the envelope, I see the check, and like oh my gosh, like my heart sunk. And I, I couldn't believe the number I was looking at. He stole so much money from me. There was this person that I had all this complete trust in That's suddenly the carpet just got ripped out from underneath us yeah you sell almost 10 million albums i could have made this much working full-time at starbucks something isn't adding up lou's getting paid promoters are getting paid the deeper they dug the worse it got yeah. never in a million years <laughs> thought a person that i entrusted my life with could do something like this it went from jolly lou to like <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you right now. Then to find out how huh. many other people this thing that he did affected. Yeah. How many oh, FBI agents I did a lot of work with. He looked like he had a bank fraud case involving Lou Pearlman. Webs upon webs of robbery. Every parent is protective of their child, and I was so angry. It was That's all truly criminal. He would use his power and influence to try to manipulate young performers. Uh, it's not for me to decide, man. He terrorized me. If Lou didn't feel Jason. bad, then he's a monster. Lou gave us all the ability to have life. I wonder how he could sleep at night. Lou has all the power. A man who had everything. He stole my life. Had the world in his palm of his hand. I, I gotta take a break for a second, guys. He looks rough. Huh? Yeah. I, I just need to... The people who are fighting me fighting me will be damn damn sorry see i remember that he took a bunch of money from these guys and that stinks because they're the ones doing all the work right they did a ton of work they were practicing super hard i mean and their kids really at the time they were kids so it's so frustrating it makes me really mad this is definitely something i'm going to watch because i was big into boy bands still maybe i'm a little um but Oh, JC's looking a little rough too, huh? He put on some weight. I love JC. JC was my second favorite. Well, I would always go back and forth between Lance and JC. Um, and Chris. I met Chris before. Chris Kirkpatrick. I met Joey Fatone. I do love Joey too. I'm surprised he's not on here. He's on everything. Um, anyway, I'm rambling about stuff that's not about this. This is I'm definitely something I'm going to watch because it makes me so mad. It's just not right. And... I don't know. What do you guys think? Post in the comments and let me know what you think. Do you think this was wrong for him to do to all these people? Um, I mean, he could have still taken a decent cut and not totally screwed all these people.
makes me mad. I don't know. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, Mama's Geeky, M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. I've got some amazing things coming up soon. And I want you guys to be following along with me. Also, um, be sure to comment again. Tell me all these things. Give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, this made me really upset. Like, I'm, I feel like I need to just go listen to NSYNC, like, the whole rest of the day. Thanks for watching, guys.